Okay, welcome back to the Colorado Trail, day 15. The day 15 question is, what do you do if there's an emergency? And by emergency, I mean you are stuck. You might have an injury, there's no one else around to help you, you can't make it to the next town, you are in dire straits. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen this little guy located right below my left shoulder, actually attached to my backpack. This is the Garmin InReach Mini, and it is a GPS unit, and you'll notice right on the side there is an SOS button. And again, if you are in a pickle and have a huge emergency, you can press this and authorities uh, will be notified and a rescue squad will come and, and get you and save you from the position that you're in. Uh, in addition to being a huge ins insurance policy, this also has the capability of uh, allowing you to text friends and family, uh, not necessarily in an emergency, but just to notify them that you are okay. And in addition to the, the gut hook app that I was using to help with my position along the trail, this gave some uh, secondary information on also where I was uh, on the trail and overall location. So. Uh, this came in handy um, and for communication, but fortunately I did not have to use it in, out of an emergency. But again, it was a nice insurance policy and it gave a little bit of comfort because not that I was taking a lot of risks out on the trail, but I knew that if something did happen, something bad happened, let's say a compound fracture or I just was completely stuck, I knew that I had a backup plan. Now for the minor cuts and bruises and blisters, you know, I had some bandages and band-aids and stuff like that. But uh, again, in a huge emergency, this would have come in handy. Fortunately, I did not have to use it. So, so that answers the question about uh, in case an emergency occurred. Um, as far as the day 15 footage that you're about to see, uh, I left Hope Pass from the day before, and I was moving towards Lake Ann Pass, which was a little bit sketchy, which you'll see here in a moment, uh, but I was able to get over it and move up the trail or down the trail along the collegiate west of the Colorado Trail. So we hope you enjoy today's footage, and we will see you soon. Okay, got a little late start this morning. Uh, two weeks on the trail, wow. Uh, wow. So, I think I lost track of days. <laughs> Anyways, this is the next day. <laughs> uh, two weeks on the trail, and then this would be, uh, yesterday was day 14. Uh, today is day 15, and incredible day yesterday. And today, I'm going over Lake Ann Pass, and that's about nine miles up ahead. Getting a late start this morning because it rained all last night and uh, usually takes me a little bit longer to get ready. You gotta uh, kind of wipe down the tent a little bit, make sure everything's dry. Uh, a little bit of condensation on my, that got in, got in my sleeping bag, but not too bad. If the sun comes out today, hopefully I'll have some time to dry it out. So, all right. We are on our way to Lake Ann Pass, nine miles ahead. All right, let's get going. Lake Ann Pass, Colorado Trail. No, we don't want to go back to Hope Pass. All right, let's keep trucking. About three and a half miles to Lake Ann Pass. We're 
getting up here to Lake Ann Pass. And just kind of like yesterday, we're looking up at some peaks. We don't really know where <laughs> the trail goes, so. Does it go off to the right? Does it go off to the left? So, we'll find out when we get up there, but this one is a dozen or so feet higher than Hope Pass, but that doesn't make it harder uh, because so far <laughs> the trail up to Lake Ann Pass has been relatively easy. Uh, nice gradual uphill, but I'm sure it's about to <laughs> go straight up. That's what my gut hooks map says. So, all right, we'll see ya. All right, we're going to the right. All right, all right, here we are. Making our way up and past. There's Ann Lake down there. And uh, we gotta go <laughs> up to that little snow cornice right there, off to the left and, whoo, a little gnarly. All right, let's get to the top. Just came across that little snowbank. <laughs> Didn't film coming up because, whoo, so gnarly. But come over this pass and yeah, baby. Wow, wow. Wow, incredible. Still coming down off of Lake Ann Pass. A lot of switchbacks here. All right, we're coming down from Lake Ann Pass, and it is right there. Yeah. Right up a little bit there. Doot, doot, doot. And it's hard to make out, but there's some switchbacks, a lot of switchbacks. And uh, you can faintly make out a couple people coming down. Whew, we've dropped so much and feet and it's uh last night because it was raining it was chilly uh, we're dropping into this valley and the temperature is rising too because we're getting down into lower elevation a little bit warmer uh now the wind picked up <laughs> all right it's like oh uh, yeah whatever dr don'ts <laughs> Okay, gotta make our way down. I think we have about, uh, there's an option of staying going four or uh, six and a half. And if it was six and a half, then tomorrow's gonna be super short. <laughs> yeah, I said that yesterday. All right, uh, we'll see you soon. Wow, crazy day. So the last two days actually, today and yesterday, I've gone over Hope Pass and Ann pa Lake Ann Pass, uh, both above 12,500 feet. Very steep ascents and descents. Uh, <laughs> both uh, gnarly in terms of you're on a cliff and you're just, you don't want to stumble, obviously. But uh, Lake Ann Pass today, whoo, that was scary. That was scary. And uh, I know I said this yesterday, but I'm a, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit of fear of, of heights. So, but <laughs> and something when you get to the top or close to the top, something in, in me kicks in. It's like this adrenaline kicks in and 
for 30 seconds or a minute. I'm, I'm not tired and I'm not scared. And I just scramble up the rest to the top. And uh, sorry for not filming today. Is it just, it, it wasn't risk. It wasn't worth the risk. So uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> But anyways, I am in this beautiful meadow. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Uh, yeah, it's incredible. Uh, and I've got, uh, there's a pass called Cottonwood Pass. It's about six miles up that way, which we'll do tomorrow. And I did 18 today, 18 and a half. And the day before it was something like 17. Uh, well, I'm forcing myself to do a, a, a short 14 tomorrow. So, uh, but I am exhausted and I'm going to bed. So, we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>